Now, matrices, being data structures, are really everywhere, especially in applications. Let's take a look at a sequence of examples where we can see matrices in action. One good example comes from linear elasticity theory, where one uses 3x3 three three matrices to keep track of stresses in a material element. Fix a coordinate frame, let's call the axes x1, x2, and x3. Then the Cauchy stress matrix keeps track of stresses, that is, forces per unit area, with respect to these coordinates. So the entry sigma i, j is going to record the stress along the x, j axis that is acting in the plane that is orthogonal or perpendicular to the x, i axis. And here, i and j are going to range from 1 to 3, and these are bundled together into a single matrix called sigma. Now, the diagonal entries are special. These are called normal stresses that record the, the push and pull. The off-diagonal terms are the shear stresses that measure sliding forces per unit area. And together, these give you a very interesting 3x3 three three matrix. It is a symmetric matrix, meaning that sigma 1, 2 is the same value as sigma 2, 1. This is very commonly used in elasticity theory, in mechanics. One sees the Cauchy stress matrix all over the place.